never come up here on the on a regular basis actually I rarely come up here so this is so nice to see stickers because I recently discovered her shop and I fell in love because it was all so cute hello hello it has been a hot minute since I've picked up the camera but I'm back. I wanted to make this video documenting the days I've been spending at home, making art, slowing down, and just enjoying the little things. It is quite short and jumps time a lot because I didn't film that much to be honest, but I did want to talk about how my art style has changed, um, the moods I've been going through, and just yeah, catch you guys up. Uh, this is me working on a commission from ages ago and my art style has shifted so much since then but it also i don't know making this video marks a return to youtube i guess which is something i've been meaning to do for ages but i have always let myself kind of stand in the way but hopefully this is the beginning of more videos to come so yeah enjoy this short little vlog and i will see you in the next voiceover <laughs> Tasha Franken, I love her. Um, I've been doing these three consistently for a while now. Well, I've I stopped for a bit, but I'm picking it back up. And yeah, these two are my nightly ones. So let's get going. So the sun sets um, tomorrow at 5:55, and I've been meaning to. And I always say I love the sunset, and I do. But I just never think to make my way up there. So. We're gonna do that tomorrow and see where it goes. It's a nice break from staring at screens all day. But anyway, I am gonna set a reminder on my phone because otherwise I will just kind of, you know, it'll kind of fly out of my head. This voiceover clip, I'm gonna be catching you guys up on why I haven't been drawing. It's honestly just because I lost the motivation and drive for it. And I know that's you know something that shouldn't let anyone stand in the way of continuing to do something if they're disciplined. But I don't know, I just kind of lost the whole joy I had for creating art. Like I did not feel like picking up the pencil. And this drawing that I did was way before that. It was way before, you know, I lost the joy of creating so this was a quite quite a long time ago but i don't know it's i've been looking back on my old art recently and seeing how much joy i had for it kind of made me nostalgic for this time even though my art style has evolved and 
I obviously kind of want to draw better and better. Draw? <laughs> draw better and better over time. But even though I don't resonate with the art style that you're seeing right now on the screen anymore, it still brings me good memories from a time where I creating art was still something that brought me pure excitement. But anyway, you'll see in the next clip how different it's gonna be. Here is my iPad. Let's see what's on it. Oh, I'm currently working on this drawing. And I'm so confused as to the color palettes. As you can see, oh, I turned night, sh night shift on on this as well. So like the colors are wonky, but there we go. I don't know, but um, as you can see, that's a little warm. And then I also have a, I'm oh, no, sorry, that's the warm. Or on what? Honestly, I can't tell anymore. Which is it? Okay, no, yeah, this is the one that I wanted. Right. Ta-da! She's pretty. Then again, all the girls I draw are pretty. Yeah, still working on this. Still working. It is a work in progress. Oh, there we go. That's the temperature. But yeah. Okay, so I switched to dark mode. And I'm just gonna continue working on this. I'm just gonna show you what it is. So I have the rough color test thingy. And I'm just gonna go off of that and lay down flat colors because she's a mess, you know? Like, I gotta clean that up and I don't know. I wanna see what this goes. So come experiment with me while I draw and I will let voiceover just take over. Hello, voiceover Jess is back for the very last time. This draw with me is gonna be the very last section of the video and you will get to see a snippet of my current drawing process and how I render now, which I haven't shown in the previous two draw with me's in this video. But you can probably tell I sounded a bit more upbeat in the previous clips. And I think it's because I don't know, the whole video kind of reflects my change in mood. Like it was a bit quieter and calmer in the beginning and it's kind of picking up an energy now and I think that reflects my art state as well. Like how much I've been motivated and inspired to create. Like in the beginning, I really didn't have that much of a spark or enjoyment in creating art and now it's kind of back, you know? Like I've been experimenting, with new rendering styles, like trying out something new has really brought that excitement for learning back because I think for the longest time I've been drawing in the same style and it was getting a bit monotone, you know, like repetitive because I knew what I was doing and I'd done it so many times before and I just wasn't giving myself room to experiment with new things. And I think, you know, throughout the video, the 20 something's best friend quarter life crisis came about and I feel like you always look at everyone else saying they don't know what they're doing and even though you know it must be true on some level you still don't quite believe it because you know they look so put together and you know they seem to be at least and all you can feel are your own feelings of like anxiety and doubt and it doesn't really help you know but I suppose that's what being you know a young person is um but i digress i have decided to kind of take the pressure off of myself to create and have it look a certain style i keep reminding myself that you know it's my art it's my account and i kind of get to post whatever i want and i can evolve whichever direction i choose to and i've also you know grown to enjoy the process of drawing more because previously I kind of just drew solely to get to the result like I wasn't really enjoying the process and I was just rushing it 
you know, to get to the result. But now, I think you can slow down and enjoy the process. And, you know, that's what art is all about. I'm, like, throwing out cliches left and right, but there is a reason why cliches are cliches, you know? Like, they're usually pretty true. And when you actually realize it, it can be pretty mind-blowing. But anyway, um, I will let you guys enjoy the rest of it. There's not much of it left, but... This has been a catch-up vlog video thing. Um, if there are other videos you would like to see, please comment below. I would love to know while I brainstorm for content as well. Um, thank you for being here. I hope you're healthy and happy, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!